out to everybody. She meant a lot to us. Um, one of our guys died about six months ago, seven months ago. The guy usually stands over there, Gary. It's very odd to see somebody thin and tall standing over there when he was tall and fat. <laughs> but I look around and I expect to see Gary. Gary lived about, about 150 yards down the road from my house and Sinead lived on more or less the same street about 75 yards down the road, quite right beside Gary really. And uh, I knew her and her brother Joseph, the great novelist. Uh, we used to share the 7A bus stop going into school. They were much younger than me, she was a kid. Uh, he was about four or five years below me in school. So I grew up with the O'Connors and they were great and she is a pistol. And um, I'm trying to think of another Irish woman. I had to do a thing with the New York Times about her about two years ago. And I tried to tell her about Maud Gone, Yeats's great Hello. muse, love object, revolutionary woman, years ahead of her time, who told the truth, who was a great artist, and who was radical and an activist at the same time. And it's, it's, it's not a good comparison, but I said, the sense I have is that Sinead is the mode gone of our time and probably just as important to modern Ireland. She was relentless. She had a voice like none of us have ever heard, so pure. And being a great artist, that voice completely represented her soul and her spirit, and whenever we hear that, we'll always be with that great woman. A few years back, we used to play with another guy from the school that Joe and I went to called Dave McHale. When we did Rat Trap and songs like that that needed sax, Dave would come on. We were coming back from um, a tour and we dropped him off in North London. He went back to his flat and um, he opened the door of his flat and his girlfriend wasn't there. And he eventually, he opened the toilet door and she was there slumped dead from a five pound bag of smack. And I'd already got to bed about three or four in the morning. Dave called me uh, in bits and um, whatever I said to him at that moment was completely inadequate to the situation. And the next morning uh, I felt ashamed of that inadequacy and I wrote this song, Dave. And it's about despair and you just really, there's no other option, as all of you know, except to just keep on. And many, many times Sinead was full of a terrible loneliness and a terrible despair. She was a very good friend of mine. We were talking up to a couple of weeks ago. And um, some of the texts were laden with desperation and despair and some were ecstatically happy. And she was like that. Um, we're going to do two songs. We don't normally come back on after the big, you know, end of gig song that makes you go away happy. Uh, we don't want you on a downer, but um, I want to do this song, well we all do, this song Dave won because we're remembering Gary who was uh, Sinead's neighbour and our friend for many years. Uh, this was his favourite song, he played brilliant guitar on it. Um, and it goes to what we're talking about about Sinead and then finally we want to do a song that we rarely do now, um, but it was... Um, her favourite rap song, she loved this band. She came to many, many, many gigs as a girl. 
Um, she tore up the picture of the Pope because she saw me t tearing up the picture of John Travolta on top of the Pope's. Um, it was a little more extreme than tearing up fucking disco. <laughs> tearing up the Vatican is a whole other thing, but more correct actually, I should have done it. Um, um, she saw us on the late late kicking off about the church and all that stuff and she was thrilled to it by it. So we love her very much. It's impossible. Um, some of us watched her this afternoon on the web and you know we were just speechless with how beautiful, how brilliant she was. You know, we were all crying almost. And so we'd finish, we'd do Dave in memory of Gaz and his neighbour Sinead and because it's about just, just keep going, you know, just keep going when things are awful, just keep on. And then we'll, um, and then we'll finish with the track. I said that she used to bring the first album to school to drive the nuns nuts. Uh, she actually brought this song, Mary of the Fourth Form. Um, which drove them absolutely apoplectic, and uh, and then she pinned a poster of me in my beauty and youth up on the uh, school notice board and got, of course, correctly a bollocking, which she was thrilled about. So we're going to do these two, and it's great to play in Cavan finally, and it's great that you could welcome Pete home so very well. So these two. These two are for Sinead, this is Dave.
give it a three. Give it a four. What's that spell, Simon Crow?
cracks open the bottle of Jack. And there's that guitar. And Gary the legend picks it up. And John Lee sits back in one of those American recliners. And he switches on the box. like that.